Stop going to these font websites in order to get your fonts. You can create a font inside Creative Design Space and I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to take this Guns N' Roses inspired idea and I got it from this Target shirt that I saw that I thought it was cute, but I'm like, we can make it at home. So I typed in distress in the Cricut images and it came up with these and I just went ahead and selected one. And then what you're going to do, this part is optional. I'm going to slice this image in half because as you can see, once I slice it, there are, there's one side that has smaller fragments than the other. So I'm I'm going to choose the one with a little bit of a smaller one, but I'm going to play around with it because you really want to see where you want it positioned, especially if you're determining how big or small you want the fragments of the text to be. You select both of those, slice it, do away with the ones you don't want, and boom, that is how you get the distress image. It's so simple. I'm doing it again with the guns and or the top text. I'm going to slice that apart as well and go ahead and delete the unwanted parts, and boom, you have a distress text that easy. And because you sliced it, you made it an image, and you can go ahead and reposition the text by stretching it or whatever. I'm typing in this, like I think it's either called shattered glass or bullet hole, something I typed in there. Sorry. I can't remember. I'm going to go ahead and position this because of course, guns and roses. Let's add something that looks like a bullet hole to this design. That's what Target missed out on. And this is the best way for you to go ahead and kind of put your own swing on things. So I'm going to show you how I slice it out in just a second with the roses. This part is I went ahead and took this vine from the Cricut images and I'm going to go ahead and slice this as well so that it's not sitting on top. Now you can see once I remove this, it looks like it's interweaving between the gun. So always be cognizant of that. You just don't want it laying on top of it. You want to kind of look like it's interweaving or it's intermingled with the design. I'm going to put the roses on top and then what I, and I'm bringing this one to the front so you can kind of see it even better. And I'm putting them all around the gun um, or sorry, all around the vine, changing the vine to green and at the top, now is where I'm going to um, go ahead and add some more vines. Go ahead and put them wherever you want. And I'm taking that last little bullet hole along with the guns in, slicing it, removing those unwanted layers, and boom, you've created your own font or text inside Cricut Design Space. It's so easy and it's so fun. That's why I love go ahead and looking at things that I'm inspired around. So if you see design on someone's shirt or in the store, do not hesitate to go ahead and try to create it at home. You don't always have to, and it's not always about quote unquote saving money. It's about saying, okay, let me stretch my creative talent and see what I can do by myself in my own so that I learn how to be more creative in Cricut Design Space. So hopefully this tutorial helped you and hopefully you love this end result. I absolutely adore this and I cannot wait to wear this shirt.